Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm taking you along with me on a day in a life as a software engineering intern here in Montreal. Like always, I start my mornings by checking emails and catching up with messages from my team. I'm currently working at a fintech company and doing my second internship here. I'm a part of a co-op program through my school, which basically means we have dedicated semesters just for internships. If you're choosing a university, I recommend choosing one with a co-op program because they push you to get real industry experience while you're still learning. And honestly, most people end up getting return offers from their internships, so it's like having a direct pipeline to your first job. This year, I did both a winter and summer internship, so I haven't been in classes since the fall of 2024. Having this extended eight month period with two different internships has been great for figuring out what I actually wanna do with my career. All right, guys, I just got my daily scrum meeting done, which is basically a meeting where we talk about what we worked on yesterday and what we plan on working on today. And it's also a good place to bring up if you're blocked or if you need any help from other teammates. It's a meeting where you kind of get to know what the rest of the team is working on and what their progress is. So today I talked about the demo that I had yesterday. It went really well. And what's crazy to me is that that was my second and last demo that I had to do before the code that I write goes into production next week. For the past three months, I've been working on my intern project. I put a lot of hours into it. And it's crazy that it's finally going to be used by lots of people within the company. One thing that hits me more and more is just how incredibly broad software engineering really is. There's so many different paths you could take from front end development and mobile apps to DevOps and cloud infrastructure to machine learning and data engineering. The possibilities are truly endless. Right now, I'm on the developer tools team, working with the Azure stack to build tools that help developers in our company be more productive. I've gotten deep into Azure DevOps and both cloud and on-premises computing. It's mind blowing how complex the infrastructure is just to support our internal development teams. We're talking dozens of microservices all working together. Each internship has taught me completely different things. At my previous internship, I worked on a developer portal that streamlined how internal teams access documentation and APIs. At my first two internships, I was building features for a software as a service platform, serving thousands of customers. And now I'm in the infrastructure and tooling space. What's cool is that each experience has shown me a different side of the industry and helped me understand how broad software engineering really is. I want to address something that's been a super hot topic recently, the role of AI in software development. There's a lot of fear in the computer science community about AI replacing developers, but I see it completely differently. I use GitHub Copilot at work every single day, and it's genuinely transformed how I code. At home, when I'm working on my startup Clava, I use Claude Code, and these tools help me build software faster and learn new concepts more efficiently. Here's the thing. This technology is evolving so rapidly that staying current isn't optional anymore. I think we should embrace these tools to become more productive and competitive developers. Companies will always need people to build software, solve complex problems, and make strategic decisions. I expect our role as software engineers to evolve, but that's exciting, not threatening. The key is staying ahead of the curve and adapting as the field changes. Like, I don't know, like they, they ask like a thousand people to pay for it. Yeah. Like you have an, uh, And then like you everybody like gets a, a small people. minority yeah, stake. Yeah, yeah. So initially they started with like 30k mm -hmm. and now they're raising like for each product like 2 million. Three million. All right, guys, it's about 9 p.m. and I just got home and showered. I'm now going to be working on my startup Clava. I have a bit of work to do because we're onboarding some new clients shortly and I want to make sure everything goes smoothly. 
It's pretty incredible to think how far my startup Clava has come over the past few months. What started as just an idea among an ambitious group of friends 10 months ago is now a production-ready application with a solid set of features. We spent the last few months preparing for the upcoming school year because timing is everything in the student space. For those who don't know, Clava is Canada's first comprehensive student club management platform. We help student clubs host and manage events, organize their operations, and give students a way to showcase their campus involvement. The big challenge now is sales and user acquisition, which is getting people to actually start using what we've built. We've been working with McGill Engine as part of their TechXL cohort, and we launched our MVP earlier this year. Looking back at how much progress we've made, it's honestly unreal. Working on this platform has reinforced something important for me. I absolutely love building things. Whether it's working on developer tools at my internship or features for Clava at home, there's something incredibly fulfilling about creating software that solves real world problems. In a world of AI and agents, I truly believe the future belongs to those who want to build innovative solutions. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this glimpse into my life as a software engineering intern. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.